Checking a patient's blood sugar is something we do on many of our patients, if not all of our patients. We should definitely do it on every patient that has a change or altered mental status. Now, whether you want to call it checking a blood sugar, um, checking a capillary blood sugar, blood glucose, it's all the same thing, just different names. When we are checking it, we need to assemble our equipment. So I have my glucometer and I have strips. Now, these strips need to be what matches the glucometer. So I usually get a strip out, have it available. Now, I would put on gloves when I'm dealing with a patient, but I'm doing this to myself, so I can't wear gloves and check a blood sugar. Um, I have my lancet, 4x4s. Some people will have a Band-Aid out and I need a Sharps container. So, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and prep my finger, and typically the side is a little less sensitive than the center of the pad. So you usually pick the side, and you want to think about which side is going to be down, so you're not having to crank their wrist in a weird angle to try to get it to, to milk out. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my strip so it is ready. It turns on. This is my lancet, and it's an automatic one, so all I have to do is push it against the skin. So I warn the patient, tell them it's going to be a little bit of a prick. Prick. And that immediately goes in the sharps container. Now I bleed a little bit out and then I use a 4x4 four four to wipe away the first drop of blood. Now to milk it, we start at the base of the finger and squeeze down until we can get enough of a drop, and we don't need much, that's probably sufficient. Then we take the tip of the strip, touch it to the blood, in a capillary action it brings it up, and then it will start counting down. I'm going to hold pressure on the, on the bleeding area. Some people put a band-aid on it, and my blood sugar is now 122. And that's what we would report on the patient care report. This does not have to go in a sharps container, although many times people will put it in there, but it should go in a biohazard uh, waste bag.